Hello, welcome to Factory Town. Is it a factory? Is it a town? Well, that's a, an important question that we're going to try and answer today. So this just came out, Early Access. It's on Steam and it's about 13 quid and it's making waves. People really dig it, really love it. And it's my kind of game. I've been playing a lot of Satisfactory recently and uh, Factorio style games. I've also been playing a lot of like uh, city builders like Foundation and uh, Dawn of Man. It's Early Access. They've dubbed it Early Access because they've launched a game with a lot less features. And the hope is they'll do more as the game progresses. But they want all of your money right now. Do they deserve it? Let's jump in and find out. So welcome to Factory Town. To build and expand your town, you will need to collect lots of resources. First, start by gathering wood. Left click a worker, that's the dude. We'll call you Jeff. I don't know why we give these people names because let's face it, he is just like a bowling pin looking mother trucker right there. He's he's a nobody. He's even wearing glasses. Are they are they eyes or glasses? I think he's wearing shades. I guess it is a sunny day. So left click the dude, right click a tree. Worker will chop wood from the nearest tree, bring it back to the uh, nearest building and repeat. Collect 15 wood. So if we get a couple of dudes on this, just blitz away, get some trees. So yeah, the graphics. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be very pixely. I think it is. I'm not too keen on the models for these workers, but if the game functions, then what do the graphics matter? So we got some wood. That's good. Build a house. Houses increase your population limit. We do still have two dudes back here. Can we drag? We can't drag a square around them. But let's build a house so we can get some, some places for these people to live. 15 lumber. Perfect. So where are we going to put these houses? I guess over here. Looks good to me. We can't afford any more. We need more wood. Oh no, the house has already been built. I'm so used to these games having you build the building when you put it down. You just put down a hollow framework that it kind of took me aback that you can put down a whole house just bam, like that. Okay, fair enough. It's helpful to put your houses near sources of food like grain. Well, there's grain and there's some berries. That's reasonably near. That's fine. So workers and that's these looking dudes. So we've got four around this like main town hall. But we want two more, right? So we'll put one there. And there, that's near the house. And coins. By supplying houses with goods, this will also generate happiness. Boost speed of production buildings. Left click worker, right click grain. Drag and drop onto a house target. What? So we left click, right click and drag to the, to the house. Okay, they both know what they're doing. Oh, and there we go, a big coin. And a big, oh my god, is that like an MS Paint smiley face? It's very primitive, very early days. I imagine a lot of these graphics might change. If they don't, well, I guess I've got egg on my face. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not, not, not the most Unreal Engine looking of games. So now we've got to build a path. They move faster on paths. Open the build menu, select paths, select footpath. So B, paths, footpath. Okay. And these guys are going this way a lot, so I guess we're going to drag a path that way. Oh, they do. They do go very quick. And let's hook this 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 house up to the to the main town hall as well. Because these guys are going along here and uh, going to the woods a lot, so we'll speed them up as well. Done. Okay, so a lumber mill turns wood into planks, which you will need for many buildings and upgrades. Gather five stone, open the build menu, select lumber mill, and uh, build a lumber mill. So we need we need stone as well for this. Let's grab a worker and make him go over here and get stone. And we'll split our workers in two. All right, so we have to hold right click and then leave it on the base. And that'll bring stone back to our base. Oh, honestly, this is a really solid game. Like this is a really intuitive way of doing things. Right click, drag it onto there. And the guy will go over here, make some stone. And to make this go quicker, we'll put a path down and paths are already in the hotbar. So that's pretty handy. Nice. Oh, look at that. Smart. Gather five stone. Are these guys actually getting the stone? Guys, where, where are you putting the stones? Okay, I guess because the river's there, we've got some problems. So we're going to get these workers to go really far away. Over here. And then come back to the base. Okay, this has worked. These guys are finally doing it. So if we're going to put the lumber mill... Oh. We'll keep it there. That's probably fine. And we'll build a path that goes down to the stone over here. Perfecto. We'll bring you along this way. Curve the path around. And I think that'll be quite good. Perfect. Boom! So now we've got the grain mill, the workshop, a chute, 
scaffold ramps, bridges, crates, all the cool stuff. So we put recipes in the lumber mill. Here we go, let's just go through the tutorial. Production buildings often have multiple recipes and you can choose which ones are active. Lumber mill, press the select recipe button and make planks. So select recipe, planks, that's the one. And we're gonna get these workers to instead take the wood to the lumber mill. That's right, boys. So we got planks, we got wood, we got stone. No stone brick and no iron, but we'll get there, we'll get there. So houses can be upgraded to increase the population limit. Ah, this sounds like a nice, nice alternative. Upgraded houses will also consume goods faster, helping you earn more coins. Select a house, upgrade it when you have enough resources. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade these newer ones we got because they're a bit nicer located. Upgrade house, done. So your base can be upgraded to increase the house limit as well. So there's a house limit. What is that? How do we know? Three or four, okay, that makes sense. So we can put another house down, at least. Why not? Oh, I like it already, this is a nice looking town. Boom, okay, here we go, upgrade. Four more houses and a food market. So what does a food market do? Lewis said he found some kind of exploit. A colleague of mine, Lewis, that is. Said he found some kind of exploit with markets and houses and just had his, his dudes all next to a market and they got infinite food. Nearby houses will automatically buy from them. It's much more efficient and convenient than delivering goods to individual houses. So build a market. This little piggy went to market and he never came home because he got shanked on the way there. And they stole his money. For a food market, we need 10 stone, which we've got, 10 planks, which we have now, so we can do it. Bam, we'll put it right there. So these guys no longer need to get food from the market, so we can set them to get stone or wood. Could use some more stone, I guess, and maybe some more wood. Maybe we'll leave this guy to deliver coins, because that's actually a good way to make money, I think. Grain mills turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price and is an ingredient in other goods. Go to the build menu, buildings, grain mill, left click. So we want the grain mill. This costs 30 gold pieces, which we, and we have 250, we're fine. 10 stone, and again, 10 planks. Planks are really the bottleneck for us. Do we want another mill, another lumber mill? Maybe, you know. Yeah, maybe we do, actually. Let's do it. Another lumber mill. Wait, which is the front? Oh, well, we'll put a path there, it's fine. No recipe assigned. So this guy's gonna make, again, planks, because we need a lot. We'll get more workers, because we can afford them now. In fact, we can get how many more? Two more. Right, maximum workers. So I want you guys to go take the tree to the lumber mill. Take the tree to the lumber mill. Deliver planks from lumber mill to nearest thing. Okay. Wait, so are we storing wood here in the... Uh... Oh, I think we have a problem here. So we have a worker that is taking... Is that a plank? We've got to watch the workers coming out of this lumber mill because I think they might be trying to take... That's right, this guy's got a log, and he's taking it from, take it in, put it in there. Oh no, what's going on? I think we've got some workers taking logs from the lumber mill and dropping them off at the base, which is what we don't want. And that's why we have like a bit of a bottleneck on planks, because the lumber mill has no logs. Maybe we can put a worker in here. Maybe that's going to speed things up. Oh, we can't, because we need more population. Oh, okay, so we didn't need more lumber mill, we just need more workers in the same lumber mill. Well, whatever, I guess we're getting wood now. We just want to find the worker that's getting logs and taking them to here. You're taking planks, that's fine. Planks are good. I don't think any of these guys are actually taking wood from here. Nah, that's perfect. Okay, that's what that works. Okay, I think we're good. It's time to build a grain mill. So it's a building, it's a grain mill. We've got the cash to splash. 
We'll put it near to the grain so we can get some use out of it. Not enough population capacity. Build or upgrade more houses. I guess we're building more houses, guys. And we'll park them along here, because why not? Path these guys up. And now we can build a grain mill. Oh man, this game is really good. It's, 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 it's graphically, it falls short compared to a lot of recent titles. But, but it just, it's just so slick. It's so slick. Oh, we can get shoots as well. Rolls valid items down length of shoot. So instead of using workers, we could get like a shoot that rolls stone to the main base, but it goes uphill so it wouldn't go down a shoot. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I guess the tutorial is going to help us out with that in a bit. Building. Grain mill. Here you go. And we're going to put it right here, because this is kind of close to where the grain is. So shall we try and build a chute now? Let's try and build a chute. There we go. Right, so we can tell this guy to take grain and put it in the chute. Oh, and it rolls down. Oh. What? Maybe it needs a recipe. Flour. Ah! Now the balls are rolling in. So get some more grain, my friend, and put it in the chute. Oh, this is good! It's like a conveyor belt without the conveying. You, my friend, deliver flour from grain mill to nearest... There we go, that's what we wanted to do. So put put the cookie down. And... Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice! Okay, so these guys are actually happy again. Oh, okay. Oh! So the house bought some food from the food market. Perfect. So the food market wasn't working because there was no food there. Now there is. They're buying bread. Everything's going great. We're seeing some smiley happy faces. Perfect. So you can actually get back to um, the old grain, grain patrol. What next? The workshop lets you craft wood wheels, conveyor belts, many other useful and valuable items to help you automate your town. All right. That's what we're talking about. We're going to finally get some serious automation going on in our little factory town. Oh, we can put down decor as well. Flowers. Oh, buildings. Workshop. What's a, a crate as a building? Small storage space to store items. Okay. Does not output contents to shoots. Okay. So the workshop can go... We'll park it over here. Why not? Oh, new unlocks. But before we do that, we should get a recipe at the workshop. Select recipe. I want you to build... Where's conveyor belts? They're not here. Oh, books, shirts, cloaks, warm. So you want to deliver everything to the market, and the houses near to the market will buy stuff from the market. Nice. So we'll get... What have we got materials to build at the moment? Wooden wheels. Sellable. It's a gadget. Okay. Otherwise, we can get wool, cotton, leather. Our oh, wood wheels are definitely the one to start with then. And we've got a bit of grain overflow here at the uh, the grain mill. So we'll get this guy to deliver wood wheels to the nearest market. Probably need, can get two guys to to get wooden logs from over here as well. This game is really good. It's really intuitive. I The graphics are really not there, but everything else really is. So a barn. Right, we're getting distracted. Let's get a barn down. I think it's probably time to sell this lumber mill. So we're going to delete to remove that. Bam. And we'll put a barn here. Barn's a special storage structure. Any item you place there is usable when placing a new building or purchasing an upgrade. Okay, right. Put you there. And what next? Create a wagon. Four items at a time. Ooh. They cannot harvest items. They also move much faster on stone roads. Four wood wheels at your workshop. Bring the wood wheels to your base or a barn so they are in your shared inventory. It's like a second inventory. So who's picking up the wheels? This guy. I want you to take wheels to the barn, please. That's right, to the barn. Nice! When we get four of those, we can uh, get a wagon. We'll put some workers in there to speed up the process. Oh, it's a really slick game, this. Right, four wheels. Let's put a wagon down. Oh, uh, we need more population, more houses. Okay, no worries. 
We could actually upgrade houses. Let's do that instead. Upgrade. 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 And upgrade. Nice. So now we should be able to get a wagon. Boom, there it is. So now we have the wagon. What are we going to do with it? Oh, it wants us to build a stonemason. Let's get... Hmm, what should be... What's a good idea? Let's get the guy making stone to... Put the stone in the wagon? Or do we get the wagon to... What does the wagon do? Oh, so the wagon can load up on wheels and take it to the market. Nice, I see. Very good. So a stonemason. Okay, next. And actually, this is like the perfect location for the stonemason. Whoa. Wells? Stone roads to make wagons go quicker. And a stone bench. All right. We'll path this up as well because it's a bit out of the, out of the way. And Boink, it's got no recipe, so we can go in here and make it make stone bricks, I guess. There you go. Nice! So we want to get... Oh, we want the wagon now. We want to repurpose the wagon. And tell you what, my friend, you're not going to take wheels to the market anymore. No, sorry. That's not your job. Your job now is to get stone from the base. Get over here. Stone from the base. And take it over to the stonemason. Simple. Oh, I like it. Base can be upgraded again. The upgrade button. Right. But this time we need stone brick and wood wheels. So we want to get the wooden wheels from... Oh, you've stopped. So take wood wheels to the market. No, don't, don't take them to the market, actually. Take them... Where's he gone? Where's the stone wheel? Where's the, where's the wood wheels guy gone? It's quite difficult to track your dudes sometimes. There we go. This is the one. So take the stone wheel to the barn. And the barn has wheels and herbs. Nice. So how many wheels are here? Uh, right, so it needs a lot more planks. Maybe we get like another cart delivering planks from the base to the lumber mill. Workers, wagon, put you down. Take logs or planks to the workshop. Easy. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ticks all the boxes. Now our base is gonna be, oh, we're, get, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. There we go, 20 stone bricks, boom. The base has been upgraded. We've got a school, a general store, and four more houses, man. Okay, well, we're going to take a break there, because we've had a little look into this game. It's so slick. It's pretty cheap on Steam. Like I said, 13 quid. So definitely check it out. It's a real hoop. The graphics are simple, but the gameplay is just so strong that I could e easily, seriously get lost in this game. I haven't even scratched the surface as far as conveyor belts go. Shoots are kind of like conveyor belts, but they use gravity. So that's, that's one thing. This is a really sweet game, so definitely check it out on Steam. If you want to, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you enjoy your time here. Also, memberships are unlocked on the channel, uh, and if you would like to support me and what I do, and become a member, I I'd be very grateful, and thank you very much. YouTube just recently uh, announced that you can actually have members-only videos, so I'd like to do some vlogs in future, and just little bits that don't make the cut, and I want to kind of keep that as like a members-only deal, so if you want to check those out, uh, become a member and support the channel. But thank you very much if you do decide to do that. Until next time, take care.